In the month of August, Republican U.S. Representative Jackie Walorski was killed in a car accident in the Northern Indiana District, according to her office. The Elkhart County Sheriff's Office said that they were called to the scene of a two-vehicle crash shortly after noon. Police said a car traveled left of the center lane and collided head-on with an SUV. Walorski was riding in, killing Walorski, 58, and two others in the vehicle. A 55-year-old woman driving the other car was also killed in a crash, police said. And now gruesome details have emerged on the accident. The Elkhart County Sheriff's Office released its final report into the August 3 incident, which happened around 12.30 p.m. on State Road, 19 South of State Road 119. The report concluded that the cause of the crash was driving left of a center with a contributing factor of excessive speed. Ports was driving the RAV4, which considered at fault the vehicle. According to the report, the RAV4 was heading northbound on State Road 19 behind a flatback truck. Ports slowed down and then accelerated to a high rate of speed, closing the distance with the truck and then getting into the southbound lane in an attempt to pass it. Evidence from the crash reconstruction, including black box data, showed the RAV4 was going about 82 meter per hour, five seconds before the crash. The vehicle reduced speed to 77 meter per hour right before the airbags deployed. Everyone involved in the crash had their seat belt on. Investigators said an airbags did deploy. There was no evidence that Potts was using his cell phone or had been distracted by it before the crash, the reports say. The vehicle didn't have any mechanical issues that would have caused the wreck. All of the evidence and information gathered is consistent with someone attempting to pass another vehicle on a two-lane roadway, the report concluded. The Sheriff's Office asked Indiana State Police for an independent review on its findings and said ISP came to the same conclusion.